Hello again everybody, McGurmy Collections here with a bayonet related video. Today I wanted to talk about the two different variations of the United States Model 1917 bayonet scabbards. Uh, the design was sort of based off the British P-13 scabbards. Um, they were modified slightly, you know, like the 1907-1913 uh, era. Uh, if you watch my uh, 1917 bayonet video I kind of discuss how the United States was making bayonets and rifles for the British they made the uh, p13 bayonets for the British and ultimately just kind of bought them back from them <clears throat> that's why some of the bayonets you find uh, have hashed out American or hashed out uh, British markings anyways um, these uh, these scabbards were made of like a, a tough, nice tough leather, and uh, they were stitched right up the back. And you know this is a better example. No, this one's a better example. <laughs> um, so they're stitched up the back, as you can see there, and it's kind of got a spine running across it. And then they were painted a uh, olive drab color, which uh, doesn't really remain on these too well. Usually, you're not going to find them uh, with the paint in perfect condition obviously uh, so let's talk about the two separate patterns we'll talk about the first pattern first the major difference between the first pattern and the second pattern is that the first pattern has a leather hanger on the back uh, and you can also see that both the first and second pattern have these um, you know the the I guess it's called a ferrule or the scabbard tip and the throat are stapled on here, so what happens a lot of the times is, uh, you know, they get they get loose, and you either have to like pinch them and risk damaging the scabbard, or just leave it like that. And obviously, I just leave them like that. But uh, anyways, back to the leather hanger. So these leather hangers uh, essentially were just a piece of leather that is fixed to this little metal block and and it has the 1910 hook attachment on it now what happened most of the time is the the hanger would just rip right off as you can see it's kind of delicate this one's sort of coming off as it is and so they would go to the second pattern later and I'll talk about that soon there are only two makers of these hangers um, there's G and K, Grain in the Night, and um, Jewel. And this one, as you can see, you can't you can't really read exactly what it says, but that definitely does not say Jewel. There's a G there, uh, so it's G and K, and that says 1917 because all the first pattern scabbards were made in 1917. Um, I think towards the end of 1917 is when they figured out these leather hangers are no good and they had to switch to the second pattern so this would be the second pattern right here and what they did was they basically just had this piece of steel rolled over with the 1910 hook attachment and so that's what you got right there um, not sure why they didn't do something like that to begin with, but you know, hindsight 2020, right? Uh, so with the second pattern scabbards, there were actually three makers of it, and I think I said they they started in probably like October 1917. Um, surprisingly, RIA uh, Rock Island Arsenal made uh, about 3,000 of these. And again, G and K and Jewel produced some of them. G and K made like somewhere over 1.6 million, and Jewel made about 1.8 million. And so the improved design was uh, was definitely something that was needed. Uh, post World War II, the second pattern was kind of used as a substitute for the model 1905 uh, bayonet because there was a, a a shortage of the scabbards that they need for those and uh, some of these were even used in like the Pacific and Asian theater in World War two so surprising these guys also fit um, 
I mean, they'll fit. I actually bought this first pattern here with the uh, with this uh, pattern 1907 Sanderson. So these guys fit the sand. These guys fit uh, 1907s. Obviously, they fit your 1917, and as I just said, they'll fit the model 1905. So it's a pretty versatile little scabbard, and uh, the first patterns are fairly uncommon and if you find them in great condition for a good price definitely pick those up for your collection